Jesus. My plan is to finish whatever I can within two hours, it's about 20 items, but I think I'm gonna sculpt until it hits 7 a.m. And then I'm gonna start glazing everything because I just wanna get most of the packages out at least. Picking out the ones that I need to paint now. Like these guys need stars painted on their hats. These guys need faces and sprinkles painted on as well. It's actually not that much. It's just mostly frog cakes and some of these guys. There's more that I have to paint that are currently baking in the oven, like the cows and the rest of the harvest cats. But yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this. This won't take too long to finish. I've said this in some previous studio vlogs, but for the faces, I like to use a micron pen. But the curdled dairy is just the start. I got everything sanded. I didn't shoot that part of the filming because it was outside and I was really, really cold. We'll see how long this all takes me to glaze. I'm gonna start a clock actually because I'm really, really curious. My current estimate is that each piece takes me one to two hours to start to finish. Like if this takes me 15 minutes to sculpt, 30 minutes to bake, then I have to glaze it and pack it. So that is at least an hour and a half, but yeah, we'll see much and at the end of this video i'll calculate how much all of this is worth four feet on the stripes on the alabama highway out there in the open just a wishing and a hoping i could smell the pines when i lay in the doorway took the seat next to mine been there before I'm befriended and an elusive I could never stand elusive all right this is the last of it the rest are all the way over there so I do an initial curing in the lamp and then I have them rest in the sun. Putting them outside in the direct sunlight is actually better, but it's really cold outside and I don't want the temperature to mess with them too much. I've been talking a lot on this channel about how I want to take better care of myself and more importantly my health. So big thanks to Care Of for partnering with me for today's video. Care Of is a subscription-based service that ships high quality, personalized vitamins, supplements, and powders conveniently to your door every month. Care Of wants to make it easy to take care of you and they recognize that everyday wellness is different for everyone. You take a short in-depth quiz about your lifestyle and health goals and they come back with a personalized doctor backed recommendation taking all the guesswork out of which supplements are best for you for me i wanted to focus on my eye health and my skin so in my daily pack they put together astaxanthin which supports brain eye and skin health along with a capsule of vegetarian collagen for my skin i just take my supplements every day with my breakfast and it just makes me feel so much better like adding such a small step to my routine 
can possibly make a huge difference for my long-term health. I also said that sleep is a huge priority for me right now. So they also sent me their sleep blend, which is unlike any other supplement I've taken. It literally makes me feel so calm and so ready to go to bed. So for 50% off of your first care of order, go to takecareof.com and enter code uncomfyco50 or visit the link in my description box down below. And thank you care of for sponsoring this video. It's 4 p.m. now. I finally finished glazing everything and I just cleaned up my workstation and everything and I washed my hands really thoroughly. The next steps are to assemble all the keychains slash earrings, which I counted. I made 46 keychains. So that'll take me about 30 minutes to an hour to assemble everything. Mr. Uncomfy already pre-assembled all of these for me, which was very, very nice of him. Then after I assemble everything, I have to put stickers on all the boxes. Since I'm out of everything, I have to prep all the stationary stuff that people ordered. So that's prints, sticker packs. So that'll take me probably another hour and then I can pack everything. So seeing as it's four o'clock now, I'm definitely not gonna make it to the post office before it closes. And this always happens. I always underestimate how long it'll take me to do things. So maybe this video will be a wake up call for me. I really didn't want to have to stay up late tonight, but I think I will and I never wanna promote an unhealthy work-life balance. That's not what I'm here to do. But at the same time, I'm not perfect. The way I'm seeing it is that if I have to go through one night of discomfort and being really, really tired, in order to set myself up for comfort, to get back on track and to actually live the cozy work-life balance that I'm striving for, then I'm gonna do it. I'm looking at all the pieces that I made this week and I'm really, really proud of myself, even though a lot of them are late. If you are one of the customers who's waited four or five weeks for your order, thank you so much for supporting me and for understanding me and this has truly just been the busiest month that I've ever had and yeah I'm working hard to get back on track and to have my processing time back to two or three weeks and maybe once I'm done with school I'll be back to a processing time of one to two weeks so thank you so much before I start assembling I have some supplies to open <laughs> these are so cute this is my original crybaby character. New thank you cards. These came just in time because I'm completely out of my old ones. I got 750 of them. I also restocked my memo pad. Let's count how many. I bought 20 of them, but I'm using one of them right now. So I have 19 to restock. They look like this. Rusty red on her shoulder I was cleaning her shoes 